All right, so I thought what I'd do is uh, come back to this a little bit. Um, so here's here's what it's looking like. That's the area that I just ground down, right? I got it as flat as I could. Um, you're supposed to be like between five thousandths and seventy-five thousandths out. Uh, just just a very small because uh, you don't want it pinned against the uh, timing um, cover against the block, right? It, it's going to push towards, I guess, when you're driving, it's, it's going to uh, the other side of this. Sorry, I, this is all, hang on. The front side of this is going to push towards the uh, cover plate, if I understand it correctly. But you don't want too much in the back either, because you don't want it you know to where it can't move it's it's gonna be free floating just a little bit right so um, so the idea is to uh, allow yourself between five and seventy five thousandths clearance and so that's what I've been going to, going for so we'll see what I got well, this could be a real booger to put in so I'm going to attempt to set the camera I don't have a great way to prop this up so I'm going to see if I got you in the frame here. Yeah, I sort of do, so hang tight. So I've got, I've got it dot to dot for right now, but then remember, the bottom is going to be at, at uh, mid, well, at noon, let's say, 12 o'clock, and then before you drop the distributor, you're going to crank this around to the top. So you're going to actually have 12 and 12 when you go to stab the distributor, but right now it's dot to dot. Okay, just to get the initial time. Alrighty, so on the back, this is the back side for the left side. This is the idler pulley here, and uh, we didn't want too much. I probably took off a good eighth of an inch. I would bet it was tapered, but it ran into this little area here, which protrudes, pushed the whole thing out about an eighth of an inch. So. The idea is just not to squash this thing between the cover plate and uh, and the block. All right. And this could be a little bit of a chore to get this sucker in. Sometimes it only takes a minute, and sometimes, well, you can go all night. So, uh, but anyway, uh, let's see what I can get here. I mean, literally, you have to just kind of put, there we go. That didn't take long, as usually the case. Anyway, uh, so I have it in there. I feel like I've got a little bit more clearance now. I can push it back. That's what you want, I believe. So here it's leveled out, but I still can go back just a hair, right? So let's see what I can get as far as uh, yeah, the fuel gauge here. I mean, I'd be happy with like say 25,000 or something like that. I think so. Here's the 25, and I think I've got that no problem, no problemo. So I don't know if I got anything higher than a 25 on there. Let's do a. I suppose you can add these up, right? So a 25. Let's see. I've got a 25, and let's just put. I don't know what this one is. It could be a, oh wait, there's several here. Here's, here's a four, so let's do 29. Let's just do 29 for kicks. Yep, 29. Uh, here's another five, so let's do, what's that, 34. Let's do three of them right here. 34. Yep. And remember, I can go to 75,000. Actually, it's probably going to be a little less because that pushed in just a little bit. 